Guten Morgen from Germany. Did I say that right? I hope I did. Good morning. Uh, we are in Passau. This is our first stop in Germany. And look how beautiful this little town is. Oh my gosh, I just love it. There's, you know, houses just built into the countryside. Looks like a small castle right there outside of our, our ship. So today we have our morning in Passau. We have a walking tour. Then we get back on the ship and we're gonna sail during the day. I'm so excited about that. I've been wanting to do that this whole cruise. We did that coming into Bratislava, but I was sick that day, so I didn't get to enjoy it. Been sick the whole trip, but I was really sick that day. And so I didn't get to enjoy it. So we're gonna sail down the Danube to our last stop this evening of Villeschofen. Sorry again for these pronunciations, I'm terrible. Um, and that will be our last stop of this cruise where we have a Oktoberfest event tonight. So let's get going, it's gonna be a fun day. Well, I have failed to show breakfast so far on the ship. So I'm gonna show you what breakfast looks like every morning. breakfast is so good you can see there's a lot of options there's a buffet every morning or there's a menu you can you can order from we did order from the menu once but you have to get up a little bit earlier to, to give them time and I'll tell you why those beds are so comfortable it's hard to get up any earlier because you've been it's like go 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 non-stop every day every day so you're just like ready to sleep in just a little bit if you can. But everything on the buffet's been great and those hash browns are the best I've ever had on any cruise. So good. No buses needed today. We are right here in the middle of town. Our guide has met us right here and we are gonna start our walking tour around Passau. There's a market! Everywhere in Europe we go, there's these little markets. They're all over, fresh food, oh my god, more cheese, and it's right across from a very beautiful church. So our tour guide is getting us a little snack. I'm curious to see what this is going to be. The European version of a food truck. It's like an actual van that they drive here and then they pop up the side and they're selling bake. This is a bakery. That's cheese. There's meat over there. This is super cool. So we've been to several markets. I've never seen one set up like this before. Oh yes, that's like our version of a hamburger. Mm. Just take one. If it's not enough, I'll get more. So this is Lieber Kaser. She said it translates to liver cheese, but there's no liver or no cheese in here. It tastes like smoked ham to me. It's really good. Yeah, it's salty like ham. That's good. Such a great market square outside of the cathedral and now we're heading inside. And she said it's cold inside the cathedral. So that's gonna be interesting because it's nice and warm out here. This is St. Stephen's Cathedral. So I don't know if you've been paying attention, but there was a St. Stephen's in Budapest. There was a St. Stephen's in Vienna and now St. Stephen's in Passau. So our guide has told us this was the first St. Stephen's Cathedral 
this one was started around 1250 in a Gothic style, but prior to that, there was a Romanesque church here as well. It took 300 years to build the Gothic cathedral, and it was finished in 1593. But about 70 years later, there was a massive fire that came through Passau, and two thirds of the church was destroyed. So near the front, you can see still some of the Gothic that remains, but it was rebuilt in the early Baroque style. We've seen a lot of Baroque over this trip, but I finally got a good explanation of Baroque. So basically, lower in the church, the church is plainer because that's where the, the people are. But as you look up throughout the church, it gets more beautiful and more beautiful. So the higher you get to God, the more elaborate the church becomes. Absolutely beautiful in there. So we looked at the forecast this morning and it said there was a chance of rain and we're looking up at the sky going, but it's beautiful. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. Some people were smart and brought umbrellas. I luckily had my jacket in my backpack, which is waterproof. So the rain is actually starting. The special chocolates of Passau, blueberry pistachio. Did she say there's alcohol in it? That's delicious. There's layers in there. So you have the layer of the fruit, you have the layer of the nut and then the chocolate. And then there's actually like even painted gold leaf on the top. It's a very good chocolate. We have taken shelter in an alleyway with an arch over it to enjoy our chocolates out of the rain. As you can see from the inside and the outside of the church, there is restoration going on. And one of the things they're restoring is the organ. This cathedral holds the fourth largest organ in the world and it's being completely restored right now. And then the Bishop's Palace right behind us is directly next to the cathedral. So he didn't have far to go to go to work every day. Let me just say the cobblestones in this town are absolutely stunning. And they've got them laid out in different patterns. So from right here, I can see three different styles of cobblestones laid in different patterns, different types of stone and everything's like that. There's no concrete, all old and beautiful walkways and roads. Passau is known as the city of three rivers and this fountain, which is not on right now, has three sides that represent the three rivers. This is a typical Passau house built in the 16th century. You can see how the roof is arched in here. And also we heard a very interesting story about how people lived. There were fires, there were floods, there was a lot they had to deal with. So during the 1600s, many of, 80% of the town was destroyed by a fire and the houses were rebuilt. But many of the houses, the upstairs burned, but the lowers didn't because of the way the structure was. But flood is the other problem. So when the Danube and we've got three rivers right here flood the city they actually seal off the front doors and fill the lower floor with tap water to keep the pressure from destroying the foundation and keeping the silted water out and then they use the smaller window to get in and out of their houses over to the stairs and to the upper levels. Well, for the end of the tour, we've taken um, shelter in a building, which this is actually a glass museum. And the way she described it, it sounds absolutely beautiful. There's glass in here that starts from the 1650s to the 1950s. And the way the building is done is you take an elevator up and then you follow the history down. That's pretty cool. Um, it's raining and it's not gonna stop raining. So I'm not sure how much more we're gonna get to see. I think I'm going to hide this camera, put on my rain jacket and just go for a walk because I'd like to go walk down to where the three rivers converge. Um, there's still some beautiful things to see so that's just part of travel you know. Weather is real. You know we've had an exceptional week with no rain up until this point so you know if we have one afternoon of rain it is what it is. So let's get wet and go for a walk. Rainy walk here we go. and I'm standing where the three rivers converge right here. So this area comes to a definite point and the two rivers are coming this way, this way, and then there's, it meets one at the other end. I know I'm absolutely crazy because it's raining and now it's windy and I'm sick. So this is kind of stupid, but I had to see it. So 
We're in Passau, the city of the Three Rivers, and this is where the Three Rivers meet. Are you cold? Yes. We almost made it back to the ship. It's cold, it's rainy, and it's windy. Look how red my face is. <laughs> That's not from heat this time, it's from cold. Oh, so, dry clothes and a big hot cup of tea is in my future. Well, it is still coming down. I'm not sure if you can see the rain behind me. Made it back to the ship, took off wet pants, put on some dry ones. Luckily my upper body is completely dry because I have an awesome rain jacket that I bought in Scotland. However, it made me sweat. So like my the back of my neck was wet from sweat, not from rain. And so just like laid down for a minute and dried off and now I'm gonna go get me some hot tea or some hot chocolate and warm up from the inside. But I could not remember the rivers back then because it was like, ah! So it's the Danube, the Inn, and the Ilts meet um, at the Convergence. We are obviously sailing on the Danube right now, which is the largest river. We have a beautiful view right now of Passau. And unfortunately, my sailing dreams got popped today because my plan was to have lunch and then to go up on the upper deck and enjoy sailing down the Danube with the sun on my face. And now it's raining and it's gonna rain for a while. So it is almost lunchtime. We're gonna go have some lunch. They're gonna do an apple strudel demonstration this afternoon. And then we will be in Villeschaffen this evening for Oktoberfest. So we just had a very yummy Bavarian lunch in the dining room. So we had pretzels, we had spetzel, we had little sandwiches on a pretzel bun with the cured ham and the mustard. There was white sausage, which I didn't care for that. I did try it though. We had bratwurst, we had a Bavarian cream for dessert. Very good. So that's what's really cool about this river cruise too is each town, city, area you go into, they mold the menu to that region. But also while we were having our lunch, we are going through a lock. So you can see right now we are rising. Not sure if you can actually tell because we're rising very slowly, but at the at the dinner table, all we could see was this dark wall for a while now. And um, we're slowly moving our way up so we can go forward and it's still pouring down raining. So yeah, my dreams of that sailing down the Danube aren't happening today, but they are about to do a apple strudel demonstration. I don't know how I'm gonna fit anything else in my tummy, but I'm gonna go watch it and try a bite. Okay, so now I think we all know how to make apple strudel. Unfortunately, they did not have any for us to taste, but I think he's going to bake the two that he made and um, maybe we'll get a sample of it tonight at dinner. So now we've got some free time as we sail down the river. And it stopped raining. Yes! Finally getting to be up on the upper decks with no rain and watch us sailing down the river. It's windy, it's cold, but I don't care. I just wanted to come up here and get the views for a bit. to watch uh, sailing down the river for long. We're here already. So I came up top and we are pulling into Villa Shelfin as we speak. There's the dock and we are pulling up alongside of it. We are in our final port of this river cruise and we are in Vilshofen. Did I say it right? Vilshofen. Yes, we're in Germany. We're here early, so we've got about two hours until our Oktoberfest event. So we are free to go explore on our own. Uh, the wellness guide is leading a hike up to the monastery, but he said it is very steep. And I am not feeling that right now. I'm feeling a leisurely stroll, not a hike. So we're gonna walk into the town and just see what we can find. So from this angle, so we've been either in port with other ships or there's always been something around us and you couldn't really see the width of the Alma Magna but here when it's all by itself you can really tell that this is twice as wide as any other cruise ship on the river market and we've loved it 
absolutely loved it. Will I go back to a, a standard size cruise ship? Absolutely. But this is a neat experience. We've had a good time on this cruise. And there's a convenient little tunnel right here under the road to get you from the ship into the town. Oh, already it's cute. Look at this. There are all these giant planters filled with spring flowers just along the road here. And all the buildings have these beautiful pastel colors. Super cute. It is sprinkling just a little bit, but not too bad to run us in yet. We have not seen anyone walking through this town other than the people from our ship. It's kind of weird. It's like a ghost town. A very cute, quaint little ghost town. It's Saturday, so I mean, I think things would be open. It's not Sunday, but nobody. Okay, there just wasn't anybody on that first street we were on. We turned the corner and we found people. Still not a lot going on in this town. That's okay. Just wandering. It's cold. It's raining outside. So gelato, right? Cookies and cream gelato. Cute little shop. They serve pizza in here too, and it smells really good. But ice cream. Let me just say, this is cookies and cream. There's no cookies. Lots of cream though. But it's good. And I'm finally getting down to where I can get to the, co the cone in the bite too. This is a really good stop. There are a lot of cute shops along this street and even a grocery store, but they all close early on Saturday. So the hours for this little shop right here says that on Saturday they're only open till 1 p.m. Bummer. Maybe we'll find something open other than gelato. That was good. Well, this is interesting on the street. It's closed right now, but there is a travel agency selling cruises. Now, there is German cruise lines that obviously that's what's being sold here in Germany, but it's just neat, you know being in the travel industry, walking across a travel agency in another country and seeing what they're offering in their windows. Little travel tip, instead of going to the airport and going to one of those money exchange places, go to the country that you're traveling to, go to a bank, use the ATM and pull money out, and then you're only paying your bank transaction fee, which is much, much smaller than um, changing money over. We still have a few days left on the trip. I know I'm gonna need some more cash, so I stopped in and got some more euros. The bells are tolling in the church for five o'clock. So I'm standing here in front of this bank. There's statues behind me. I didn't look at the statues until I turned around. So hmm, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but it's just so funny. You know, Americans are so prudish. Like we're like, <gasps> and Europeans are not. So that's just funny. I just turned around, I'm like right in front of my face. In front of a bank, there's a naked statue. So since we pulled into town early, they did offer an extra excursion today, which is a hike up to the monastery. And there it is, right up there on the hill. But we're just chilling today. No hikes for us. So this yellow building behind me has a date painted on it of 1376. But this monastery, so we've been like in the land of old buildings, right? This monastery is new. It's in from 1905. So that's a relatively new monastery. And yeah, we were just talking like, so why did they feel the need to build a monastery in 1905 when they've got a massive monastery over in Melk that barely has anybody living there? I mean, I guess 100 years ago, it might've been a little different, but monastery. So this is cool. There's no stores open right now, but there's this 24 hour vending kiosk and like you can get anything imaginable from here. There's Cokes, there's beer, there's wine, there's snacks, there's candy, there's gum, there's energy drinks. There's just about everything. And if you do buy an alcoholic beverage, there is an age check on the machine. You have to like scan your driver's license or whatever to be able to buy alcohol. Now it is time for Oktoberfest. It doesn't matter that it's spring and it's not actually time for Oktoberfest. Alma Waterways puts on an Oktoberfest for every sailing that comes through Vilshofen. So let's do this. I don't drink beer, but that's okay. This is really cool. So we come in, they give you a beer. There's pretzels on the table. There's a live band of five local ladies playing. The beer queen is there to greet you. But for those who don't drink beer,
know Oktoberfest was a lot of fun. Even if you're not a beer drinker, go enjoy the pretzels, enjoy the good music, enjoy the fun. That was a lively event. And I love that it was just literally you walk off the ship, they have a permanent tent set up um, at this dock and they do that for every sailing that comes through here. So that was really, really cool. This is our last night of the cruise. So tomorrow morning we get off and we have a transfer to Munich and we're gonna spend two nights in Munich before heading home. But this has been an amazing cruise. Absolutely wonderful itinerary. The ports have been beautiful. The ship is gorgeous. It's the biggest uh, cruise ship on the river, right here, the Alma Magna. And we've had a great time. And this is my second river cruise and I must say, I think I really like it. <laughs> but that's it for this, and I'm gonna go to sleep and get some rest because we have more fun in Munich to come. But if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye.